Hi, Florette here, and thanks for joining me today. On this tutorial, we're going to create this adorable purse gift card holder. And it's a real easy piece, and it's so fun because you can, you know, decorate it any way you want. You can use different pattern papers, and it's going to look different every time you make it. This time, we're going to be using the Graphic 45 Paper Pack. That's Botanical Tea, and I thought it went really great with our Pansy Tea Party uh, kit. So here you can if you give this to someone it's super cute you can pop this in an envelope and when they open it up it's so cute because it's a pop-up card and you have your gift card right in there you can put a stamp in here which we have and then you can write a personal message anything like that but it's really cute and easy and as always you will get a PDF file with full instructions and it'll tell you in detail step by step how to put to put it together along with the order to put it together so Let's get started. So I've gone ahead and laid out all of our pieces to create the purse. So we're going to start actually with the inside mechanism, which is right here. And it's real easy. And that's this piece here. It's like an, a rectangle. You're going to first bend all your score lines so that you have easy folding. And this one, you're going to fold it right down the center like so. And you've got two pieces that you're going to valley fold upward like this and so you're gonna wind up like with kind of like an accordion piece like this here and that's simply you're gonna glue it down right in the center here you want to make sure that you know you have it right on the other score line sometimes you can put it like this and then you're gonna glue it down so you're gonna just take some glue and simply add it to these two sides like so and you're gonna find these two little indents here and here will give you an idea of where that center score line is and remember this is going to go right down on that and you're just going to line it up like so and put it in the middle as best you can and then if you fold your card here then you'll know you have it in the right spot and you can just press it down like so and voila you've already got that piece done now we're going to move on to our second piece here now this is our insert and that's where we're going to stamp or write our message. So I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna put this aside and we're gonna stamp uh, in the inside using our coordinating stamp set, the Pansies stamp set. And we're gonna use this wishing you the most beautiful day. I love this stamp. It's really useful and um, it's really pretty. So we're gonna take our Misty or you can use a stamping block. We're gonna just put this in here. We're gonna grab our stamp, wishing you the most beautiful day. And I want that at the top here because I want to write a little message in here. So I'm just going to center that best I, I'm just going to eyeball it. You can use, you know, the registration marks and everything. And I'm using a Misty here. I love this Misty stamping positioner. I use it all the time. Of course, you can use a standard stamping block like this as well. It will work great. But I just find it nice and easy because I can stamp it multiple times if I need to. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp. and pop it on. That's what I love about stamps because you can personalize your creation to whatever occasion or holiday you have. I'm gonna ink it up one more time. Since I do am using a Misty, I wanna get it nice and dark. Oh, look at that, looks great. Then we're just gonna simply take that and we're gonna center it in here and glue it down. I like to do this piece second to cover up, you know, the mechanism itself. I think it looks nicer that way. It gives it a really clean look. All right, now we're gonna move to the outside. And you've got these overlay pieces here. So we're gonna take those and we're gonna turn, make sure that we have it the right way because this piece is gonna go just right on here and you can see it fits perfectly. So I'm just gonna add a little glue to that. And I might fold it over just to make sure I get it right on there and it's gonna fit perfectly on. I'm gonna fold it over just so I get it exactly right on the edge. 
And then once I do that, I can really smooth it out. All right, now we're gonna move on to this piece here. It's our, our overlay that's gonna make the kind of band that goes around the purse. And it's also gonna be what our closing mechanism. So what you wanna make sure here is before you start gluing, you wanna make sure you have this lined up properly. Because this is the proper way, but if you were to turn it upside down, you see your your openings will not match. So that's how you know you have it the right way. Just line it up ahead of time, and just put some glue on that. I'm just going to put some glue on the back. But you can see this is a nice, easy project. It's a great card. Plus, you can give a gift inside. You can even, you know, fold up some money and put that inside if you wanted to. And I'm just going to line up the two cutouts right there and press it down. Make sure it's glued. Now we're just going to take this piece here. And all I did here, and I'll show you, is I just took, I put some stitching. It's completely optional. I just took a Tombow marker. I like the Tombows um, for this because they have, you know, two ends. Anything that you have a small tip on. And I kind of just created some simple stitching. But what you want to do is make sure you have these. Because I did not use pattern paper for these. I used a solid cardstock. I want to make sure I have it the right way before I put my markings on. And it goes this way. And so I'm going to put some stitching just along the edge here like so and you know it doesn't have to be perfect just some little it's just to give the idea and I'm just gonna go around the edge and put these little marks like so nice and easy but I think it gives that little extra added touch so we're gonna take this piece here I'm just gonna open that up so I can align this right over that piece there this is our kind of our buckle and I want to really make sure to line it up with this edge down here. And once you get on, you can just kind of make sure you have it all lined up the way you want to. Like so. And there we have that piece. Then I'm going to add these two corner pieces, one on each side. Again, always. Kind of lay it first before you glue. start gluing so you know you have it the right way. I'm just going to add a little glue and pop it in this corner. And these are like those little pieces that you have on your bag that sets it on the floor. It just adds, you know, an extra little design to it. Let's see, and this one goes this way. But we are really moving along here we are actually almost done that's I mean this is a nice simple easy project and if you're new to paper crafting this is a great one to start with because it does have a mechanism and a couple different pieces to fold so it kind of will help you get started on doing like 3d projects if you haven't done them before now the handle is simply going to go right on the back here so you're just going to put glue on these two spots And I'm just going to glue it to the back like this. Let it dry. Now I'm going to set this aside while we work on our little bow. Okay, so we have our little bow. Or should I say big bow. And you can curl this if you want. You know, even just with your fingers. You can curl it afterwards or just leave it straight. I like to give it just a slight dimension. And you can ink the sides. Like on this purse here, you can see I just used a little ink and I inked some of the edges just to give it a little antique feel. So I'm just going to simply take these two pieces and glue them together with the, like so. So you have the straight one on top and the angled one on the bottom. I'm just going to put a little piece of glue, a little dab right there, and then put this piece over it. Just align the two together, like so. There we go. And look how cute that's a little bow. And this is just the little piece that's going to go around our bow, like this one here. And you're just going to simply wrap it around the back like this. 
and glue it into place. And that just gives a little wrap. You can, you know, cut this out of the same material. You could use ribbon instead of this little paper piece, or you could, um, you know, use twine, anything you want um, in that center piece there to give it a little more dimension or a different look. Then you're simply going to take it and you're going to make sure that your buckle goes through here, okay? And you're going to glue this, once you have that on, you're going to just put a little glue here and line up your bow so you get it exactly the height that you want it. I like mine to be right up at the top here, so I'm going to add my glue right to the center here. And that allows me to position my bow wherever I want it to land. Or basically you're lining up this bottom edge with the bottom edge of that opening there. You just want to make sure not to glue it whoops, so that it doesn't close. So you can do it this way too where you just line up this bottom edge with this middle bottom edge. You can do it that way as well. And I can just hold that for a second and it'll be dry. And that was really quick, wasn't it? Because we didn't speed up or anything. <laughs> and there you have a cute little purse. And you can see here with this one, you can see it all closes up nice. And you can see I just added, I embellished it. I grabbed just like a flower piece and some little ribbon and glued that on right there. So that is how quick and easy it is to make our little purse. And you can see it opens real nicely. It's really beautiful. You pop in your gift card and you are all set. Or you could pop in, um, like I say, you could fold some money or whatever you want that you want to fit inside there and give it to them. So cute. And of course, again, you have the PDF file that comes with it. We use the stamp set um, pansies to create this. And I just think it makes a great gift because it's a card that holds your gift card and it's a little different from what you normally see and it's 3D. I love pop-ups. So thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And if you create one, please pop it on our Facebook page, share it with us. We'd love to, to see. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. See you next time. <music>